guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today we're doing a ton of gingerbread DIYs. So I'm going to start out with the newer ones that I have done so far this year. So I haven't done a whole entire gingerbread video yet, but I am working on that one as we speak. So I just kind of want to share with you guys some that I have already done. So if you have not seen these videos, it's kind of going to be all rolled into one. So I found this really cute scoop. I think it's in a pack of five or six from Hobby Lobby for just a few dollars. And then I just added a a bunch of puff paint to the inside of this and I'm just adding some really cute gingerbread sprinkles and then I found these really cute buttons at Hobby Lobby they were $2.99 half off makes it $1.50 and I just added one to the center of this now I wanted to use this as a Christmas ornament but I think I'm going to actually add it into one of my tear trays because it is just so adorable one I'm using this small wooden mason jar and I'm using the color hazelnut and this is by Waverly Chalk Paint and I'm going to paint the entire thing. I just think this is definitely the color for gingerbread. I don't know. I'm sure it's not. I'm sure there's like some other really great brown colors, but this is just the one that I chose to go with. I'm using some of these faux sprinkles. These are actually beads, but they're from Hobby Lobby. And I think they were two bucks a pack at half off. I can't remember exactly what that price said, but they were under $3, which I thought it was a great deal. I'm adding some puffy paint to the top and then tapping the bottom. So it kind of gives that really fun drip adding those sprinkles and then I just went ahead and added some more of those gingerbread buttons. If you are new to my channel, I love using up pretty much everything that I have before I go and buy new. So if I have one of these buttons, I'm going to use it I just cannot have just like one or two little tiny things laying around because I will probably end up tossing them uh, on accident or just because I don't feel like there would be enough or things happen, uh, but I just prefer to use them up while I buy them. So... I don't waste them or throw them away. And I think this is the cutest thing. I think this is also going to go in one of my tier trays. Next one, I grabbed this rolling pin from Hobby Lobby on clearance, and I really think that you can find these for way cheaper in the wooden section at Hobby Lobby. I think you can get three for four dollars, which I think is a pretty good price, and they're a pretty good size rolling pin, but I never feel like that you cannot make a brand new rolling pin every single year for Christmas time. So I probably have 10 of these that I have made in the past, but I will use every single one of them. So I just used my Cricut to cut out this gingerbread. And of course, we're gonna go ahead and use some more puffy paint. And I grabbed this from Walmart, but they do have them at other craft stores, Hobby Lobby Michaels. And then I'm just adding some more of those sprinkles. And this is just the cutest thing. I was gonna add this to an ornament. So if you haven't seen my ornament video, I made some really cute ornaments with just items that I already had in my craft stash. today's video, I want to thank her nest for sending me this vanity. My oldest daughter has wanted a larger vanity. I cannot tell you how long she has wanted one. She's had a smaller one for years on end and she has definitely outgrown it and wanted something larger. So her nest is a brand committed to creating high quality, sustainable, stylish furniture and enhances modern living experience. And this is their modern makeup vanity. It is huge. It is 47 inches wide. So I did have to make sure that it was going to fit in the spot that I was going to put it in just because it was so much larger than a lot of the furniture pieces that we have at home. So this was fairly easy to put together, although it did take me two days because sometimes your girl just needs a break when it comes to furniture. But this was super easy to put together as far as instructions. And then of course I use a drill. It always says do not use a drill, but it makes my life so much easier. I love that it has that built-in outlet so you can hook up your hair straightener, your hair dryer, your phone charger, like whatever you choose to put on this vanity. But this is what it looks like when it is done. It is made out of engineered wood. It has 10 adjustable colors and speeds, it has a dimming light, a touchscreen lighted mirror, and there is so much storage space between the cabinets and the drawers. My daughter absolutely loves this. Like I think this would be a 
great Christmas gift, although she has already got it because where on earth would I have been able to put something like this and hide it before Christmas time? So I guess it was definitely a early Christmas present. It also comes with a stool as well, so there is more storage there. I just feel like a girl cannot have enough storage, especially when it comes to a vanity like this. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this mirror. I love absolutely everything about this. It just has some very unique parts to it. There is a little mode so you can turn on the lights and they are LED lights and you can get a bunch of different colors, which I think is super cool. And I think this is the best part, especially for 18 girls a bedroom. So if you guys want to check out her nest, I will link them in the description box below. They have so many beautiful high-end pieces. You guys do not want to miss out. So like I said, I will link it down below if you guys want to check out their website so you can get started on some Christmas shopping. For this next DIY, I am using this tray that is from Dollar Tree and painting it in the crimson color by Waverly Chalk Paint. Once that is done, I went ahead and added some of these really cute gingerbread ornaments. I picked these up off of Amazon and I just really think these are cool because you can cut the tops right off. They're kind of made of a silicone type feel, so they are easy to kind of move. They're also easy to remove from pieces uh, if you just want to redo them and use your gingerbreads over and over again when I was putting this together that this was all I would do with it and I just feel that it was just a little plain and needed something else like maybe it needed a bow but I honestly thought that it needed a rolling pin so I have these these are from Amazon they're up quite a bit smaller but they came in a large pack I want to say a pack of 30 something like that I have a ton of these I will forever have these until I grow old because there's just so many of them and I just decided to add cookies to this and paint it with that hazelnut color of course some puff paint and some sprinkles once that was all dry I just glued it to the bottom and I think this is the perfect finishing touches for this project cup signs are some of my favorite things that I have found this year at Dollar Tree. I have not found that great items. I'd like to know in the comments below like what you guys have found that is definitely like you would want to purchase it again as far as crafting wise. So I went ahead and sanded the little cup signs down. I painted one red and then I also painted one in that hazelnut color. I did use my Cricut for this. I use my Cricut for a lot of things when it comes to Christmas and items that I am probably going to keep down the road. So not that I don't love Dollar Tree and I think it's great and I think it is a great way to make some really inexpensive decor, especially if you are on a tight budget, but you want your house to look super cute for the holidays. Some items are just not worth buying there and I just can't say that enough as much as I like shopping there and using their products uh, but these signs are thick they're gray and I will be keeping these for years on end so once I added that vinyl decal I added some more of that puff paint and some sprinkles and I did add some faux little chocolate bars and these are from Amazon And although that coffee cup was just not gingerbread related, I really think that it kind of went with the theme. So I just went ahead and shared that one. And then this is my gingerbread one. And of course the gingerbreads are always my favorite. I think gingerbread and decorating with them are always just my, just hands down my favorite thing. So I used my vinyl cutter, which is a Cricut. I don't know why I called it a vinyl cutter, but I guess that's what it is. Uh, and I cut out gingerbread bakery and this was... I just go to images and I just type in things and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll or I'll type in gingerbread bakery or gingerbreads or just a lot of the keywords and I just find a decal that I like and this one I did end up kind of cutting apart but I liked those two and of course I'm using another one of those gingerbreads and just gluing it to the side and then of course we had to go and add some more puff paint and sprinkles and all the fun things.
I did these last year. I grabbed these spoons during the fall time, but I did see they had larger ones this year at Hobby Lobby. All this, all these items came from Hobby Lobby. These cute little gingerbreads. The puff paint was actually from Dollar Tree. Sprinkles, Amazon. But I like to share some shorts. I don't know if you guys are interested in that, but I do have an Instagram. I'll link down below. Uh, but this was like one of my most watched videos was this cute little spoon DIY. I don't know why and I don't know how it got like over... 200,000 views or something, which honestly for me, it's ab that's absolutely insane to uh, put sprinkles and puff paint on tiny little spoons with gingerbreads. But uh, it was, I guess it was kind of cool. So uh, I'm pretty proud of that quick little uh, video, but I love these. I think these are so fun. So some of these I saved for the next project. So I will show you. And then I just kind of used them as is and kind of laid them all around to different tier trays and items that I made. Uh, I love making faux books with the crates from Dollar Tree. It's been one of my favorites for the last few years, and I make them pretty much for every season. And then I like to remake them and do it again and make them again because there's just so many different faux books, stacks that you can make. So I have no idea what color paint this is. I don't have a clue. I know it's some sort of acrylic brownish tan paint that I thought would look good with gingerbread. So we're going to go ahead and go with that. Once that was all painted, I did use my Cricut machine and I just did gingerbread cookie company for the words. And then the, once that was done, you can really embellish these however you would like. I just have this thing to use puffy paint or fabric paint as much as I possibly can in any of my Christmas videos. So you're going to see a lot of that again this year. Uh, I've already started doing a ton of it, but when it comes to gingerbreads, I just feel like if it's not on my gingerbread decor, then like, is it really gingerbread? Like, is it, I don't know. I just, I love using it and it's super fun. And sometimes you just need some really fun crafts to make. Once I added the puff paint and sprinkles, I decided to embellish it just a little bit more and add these little gingerbreads. I did have to cut them in half or they really weren't staying on the top, but I did glue one to the side and one to the top. I didn't put one on the top. I wanted to, you do have to cut them down and they will stay so much better, but I love this one and I cannot wait to make more of these uh, for this year's Christmas season. This is the famous Waverly Crimson chalk paint. I'm going to go ahead and use these little ornaments. These are super cute. I think they're supposed to be like pumpkin spice ornaments. They are always around in the fall time at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to paint quite a few because when I'm on a roll with painting, I just kind of keep going and going and going. And then I will figure out something to use with them down the road. Of course, we're using the puff paint. This is from Walmart. And if it messes up a little bit, it's okay. Like you're making fake whipped cream so it's okay if it's not perfect adding that tiny little gingerbread ornament to there and then i found this chalkboard sign this was already made from dollar tree and then i'm gonna go ahead and add this chalk couture silk screen transfer frosty's snowflake cafe i thought so, i thought this would look like really cute on there alongside of the little ornament that i just made so obviously stay tuned because there's gonna be more of those ornaments that i use in different crafts I'm using another Dollar Tree sign and then of course some more of these little ornaments and then you could choose and add whatever you want to these but I just I think these are so cute together so I had to add two to the sign and then I just use my Cricut once again just to make an adorable little gingerbread sign.
like I said, you can never go wrong with too many rolling pins. This is the three pack from Hobby Lobby. I obviously had an extra left over and I don't think these are normally on sale just because it's when Hobby Lobby has their wood pieces on sale, it has to be like $4.99 and up and maybe these are $3.99. I don't know, but I feel like I always pay full price for them. I kind of miss the Hobby Lobby coupon, like how old and how long ago has that been gone, but I kind of miss it still. I'm just painting the edges or the little handles, and then I'm adding some scrap of paper, and that also came from Hobby Lobby. To finish these off, I'm just adding some small bows. These are from Amazon, and then I'm going to go ahead and add some of those tiny gingerbread ornaments to these, and that is it for this one. I'm just using a Dollar Tree sign and these little gingerbreads from Hobby Lobby. They were $2 a piece and I think these are the cutest little guys I have found at Hobby Lobby so far. So once those are added, I went ahead and used my Cricut. Now I use the Cricut Maker 3 and I just love this guy because it does absolutely anything and everything. I usually just cut vinyl, but I have so many questions on which Cricut I use and this is the one. I'm using some red vinyl. Cut out this fresh baked gingerbread bakery vinyl decal and then I am just going to go ahead and place it at the top and that is all I did for this. I think this is such a cool sign. I did end up leaving the top handle because you never know if you're going to want to add this to a wreath or outside or hang it up. Uh, I just chose to like place it on my hutch. I have a hutch and it's decorated all in gingerbread and I love it but I think this is just perfect for that space. Another Dollar Tree sign. Now you could double side this. I chose not to, but I think it is a really clever idea if I did. So I could always go back later on because I did paint both sides just to make sure you just never know if you're going to want to. Once that was done, I used these little ornaments or these little picks once again from Hobby Lobby and I'm just adding this right to just one side. I only used one because I thought adding two, it was just going to be a little top heavy because I wanted to place it exactly how it was. So I added that and of course we're going to use some puff paint I'm using this red now I found this at Dollar Tree and obviously Dollar Tree is such a hit or miss so you never know if you're going to find this or not but they do sell them for I want to say like a dollar 19 or a dollar 26 who knows what it is at Walmart these days but uh, it's still fairly inexpensive and if you do tap your sign or your item that you're using this drip or you want it to drip if you just pound it on the ground or on your table or whatever it makes that really cool drip now pretty much all of my faux sprinkles they are a polymer clay and they are from amazon and of course we're going to go ahead and use a, another decal from cricut design space and you have another super cute gingerbread sign Favorite part of any store is going to be clearance for sure. So I got this for just over $2 at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to use a silkscreen transfer. This is a chalk couture one. Now this is a couple years old so they do not sell this one anymore but they have so many really cute options for Christmas and I will link their site in the description box below but I absolutely love it. It just makes everything high end and if you don't have a Cricut and you want to do something else I think this is 100% off I think this is awesome especially when you do it on a chalkboard you can always wipe this away later on and just reuse a chalkboard so if you change your mind or you want to change this out per season you could do that but I just kind of did some red white and a brown color for this sign and I think this is adorable always have so many of these crates laying around from Dollar Tree. Either I have a hundred or I can't find them at my Dollar Tree. So I guess it's really 
It just depends on what day of the week it is. I'm going to go ahead and paint this red. And honestly, I probably should have made a fill book out of this because it's just what I like to do with crates. There's so many things that you can do with crates. I've done so many crate videos in the past, but we're just going to go ahead and use these little wooden gingerbreads. These are from Dollar Tree. And you know what? I have not seen a ton of Christmas at my Dollar Tree. I don't know if they're just waiting to come out at last minute when I am completely done doing Christmas videos, but uh, there is just barely any Christmas. Just a lot of ornaments and that's about it but anyways I glued the gingerbread down to the side of the crate and I just added these really cute cookie ornaments these are from Walmart a couple years ago but I think they are so cute and I usually save or not save I wait until a lot of that kind of stuff is on clearance and I just use it for the next year but like how cute are these ornaments they look just like cookies for this next one, I'm using this Dollar Tree sign. It says home. We're going to go ahead and paint it white. I had to do a couple coats to cover this nicely. Once that was done, we're going to, of course, add some puffy paint. I am also going to be using those same wooden gingerbread as the previous DIY. And I just think this is so cute. And it was so simple. And sometimes so many words and so many sayings are a lot. I don't normally like a ton of that around my house on an everyday basis, but when it comes to Christmas, I think anything goes, honestly. If you like the fun fake drinks, this one is definitely for you guys. So I made this one last year. I also made one very similar this year as well. I'm using some acrylic paint. And then once that was dry, I did have to do a few coats to kind of cover it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use some caulk along with the foam ball. And I did cut out a piece of cardboard that would be the size of the top of the mug that I'm using. The mug is also from Dollar Tree. The caulk is from Dollar Tree. And I really like using the the tips that you, the baking tips, I never know what they're called, but I just like to glue those right to the caulk. And then of course, we're going to add some puff paint, some sprinkles and some fun embellishments to this. Now I, you can, it's fun because you can use whatever you like on these and they just turn out so cute. You cannot have enough of these. I think I have seven or eight of these fake mugs that are going to be clear through my house for Christmas time. And I am not mad about it. We're going to have like two or three in the kitchen. We'll have three or four in the dining room, maybe a couple in the living room. Like you just never know, but I just think these are adorable. You can use some straw. If you don't have a good colored straw for Christmas time, you can go ahead and wrap a napkin around it. I just found this cute little spoon ornament, which is from Hobby Lobby. And I just added my topper to this and like, look how cute this turned out. Fake books are some of my favorites, and I think that there's just so many different things you can do with books regardless, but I love these ones. These are from Halloween. I painted one red and one white. Actually, I take that back. It is not going to be white. It is going to be this hazelnut color because, of course, it is my gingerbread color of choice. And then once those are done, I just added some decals from Cricut Design Space, and then you can embellish as you like. So this one I thought was really cute, but I did not love those gingerbreads there. So I went ahead and just either removed those or I just went over the top of them and added some of these cute little gingerbreads from Hobby Lobby. They are stickers, but I mean, these look so much better than just the little decal. And then the other one, I just did this holiday gingerbread bakery. And then of course, we're going to be adding that puffy paint because, well, because it's my channel and it's just what I like to do when I have gingerbreads. And of course, pound that 
to your liking and then once the drip either add sprinkles or leave it as is i did leave this one as is i went a little basic on that but like how stinking cute Okay, now I love a faux drink any time of day, but let's just say that you don't want to use that caulk and sometimes it expands and it doesn't go the way you want. Find these really cute mugs here. I found these at Dollar Tree, but I have seen them at Dollar General like recently. Uh, so I just went ahead and used some puff paint for this. So which is so much better than using caulk to be completely honest. Like I was having the biggest issues using caulk and lightweight spackle and all the things this year. So I think that these I was probably better off making. So I just added my sprinkles, my really cute gingerbread ornaments from Hobby Lobby, a really cute Cricut saying. And if you don't have a Cricut, you can always use some stickers. I know it's not the same. And I'm sure if you go on Etsy, they probably sell decals as well. I don't know the cost. I don't don't know. I haven't been on there, but I'm assuming there. Uh, so there you go. There's our, those are some options. Maybe even Amazon has things like that. All right. So we're using some air dry clay to make some really cute gingerbread cookies. And I love these. I don't love clay. I don't like the way they feel, but I did make these with my daughter last year and we had so much fun with these. She had her own. I had my own and we made a ton of them. They turned out cute. I also made some fake little Debbie cake Christmas trees. Like, how cute is this? Like, I love these. Next one, we're using a thrifted sign. It's not a thrifted sign. I want to say it was, but I love to like buying any sign that I can from a Goodwill or a yard sale. This was on clearance at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I just saw the sticker, so... That's how I know. I sanded it down and now we're going to go ahead and paint it with the crimson color. These super cute felt ornaments are from Dollar General. $3 for three of them. Like you cannot beat that price. A dollar an ornament. They have so many dollar ornaments. I love them. Adding a little boy and a little girl to each side of this. And then we're going to add a decal to the center. And of course, what is this video if I don't use puff paint on this? Like I just have to. Like I said, all of my gingerbreads are gonna have to have it. It just looks so much better than this boring old red sign. I did add some really cute lollipop embellishments to those little gingerbreads and those were from Amazon as well. Okay, now this was just something in the making. So I made it for fall time and then I wanted to redo it for Christmas time. And it is this, is it a stand? Is it like a little gingerbread bakery sweet treat stand? I ended up loving this so much. So I kind of redid it and I'll link the original video if you guys want to see the full tutorial in the description box because I obviously cut a lot of it out because it was like a video on its own. Like it took a couple hours to put the whole thing together and stain it and then I decided to paint it red. It was a whole thing but we're going to just go ahead and shorten this up and I will link the original in the description box but fresh baked gingerbread served here. Like I said I love using my Cricut. We're going to use some puff paint and then we're going to put it all together just to make a really cute sweet treat stand. Like these stands are my favorite. I really haven't made a ton this year but I still have time. They're just some of my favorite things to make, but I was absolutely obsessed with this stand last year.
Sometimes I have a ton of signs in my craft stash and they need to be used some sort of way. So I had this sign for quite a while in my craft stash and I figured it needed to be used. So I'm sure everybody has one of these or something very similar because these tag signs used to be like the bee's knees when you found them. Like it was like the best thing. And now like I feel like you can find these almost every time you go to Dollar Tree. But I did paint it crimson and I did paint the frame white because I'm just going to be adding it right back together. I'm going to go ahead and add a Cricut decal to this, a really cute gingerbread. And if you don't have a Hobby Lobby near you, Walmart has some super cute gingerbread ornaments. I have yet to buy any or actually go and look there, but I have seen them online uh, that people do share like their little Walmart hauls. I, I'm kind of obsessed with watching Walmart hauls or they're some of my favorite right now to watch. next one is a one dollar frame that was from a yard sale and i'm painting it the crimson color we're gonna go ahead and obviously add a gingerbread to this because it would not be a gingerbread you can embellish things like this however you'd like i like to use greenery or bows or even sometimes ornaments I seem to be really fun to use i do not make bows so if i do not have them on hand i would honestly prefer to use like a larger flower or greenery or just something that would cover the middle of the ugly greenery but obviously i had a bow this time and that's what I went with and this super cute gingerbread which this was from Walmart a couple years ago. To finish this off, I just went ahead and added some scrap of paper to the back side. I just think it really finished it off and you're not going to be able to see whatever I decide to prop this against, which makes it just look 10 times cuter. Easy DIY. These ornaments are from Dollar Tree along with the chalkboard house, which is also from Dollar Tree. And I just bent this little guy's leg back and forth until it broke. And then we're going to just go ahead and make an O snap decal with this and just glue the gingerbread man right onto this. It has to be one of my favorites I've done. And it is so simple to put together. It just takes like a couple, it like probably takes a minute and a half to put together and I just think this is adorable and if you don't have a Cricut you can honestly just grab a chalk marker and write it on here my handwriting is atrocious it's awful you wouldn't be able to read it uh, so I like to go ahead and use my Cricut it's kind of like my it's like my handwriter because I need it I need someone else to do the work for me cutting board is from Dollar Tree and I'm just adding some scrap of paper to the center of this and I'd really like to know in the comments like do they still sell these cutting boards at Dollar Tree I have not seen them in so long I have seen the little flimsy plastic ones but they don't have a handle and I've also seen the bamboo cutting boards a lot lately but I have not seen the old school handled plastic cutting boards uh, after I did that of course I'm going to use a tiny little rolling pin because I said you can never have enough rolling pins around Christmas time and this cute little gingerbread ornament and I think that was from Walmart or Dollar General it was in some sort of pack and I thought it'd be cute to, to embellish for obviously crafting 
and then some more of these tiny little wooden gingerbreads that are from Dollar Tree and then you can embellish as you like I'm using some bows from Walmart and just whatever you like but I just decided to line these little gingerbreads up on the bottom and I think this is super cute course let's make another fake drink this one is from this year so if you guys did not see my glass hack video then you probably missed this DIY uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use the hazelnut chalk paint and then we're going to use a different tip for this now I just found out recently that in the baking aisle they have a ton of these little baking tips so I just went ahead and grabbed I think it's a pack of five or six which I think that is awesome and I didn't have to get the piping bags because I wasn't going to use those anyways so once that was done I just did the same method as far as the foam ball in the card board on the bottom. We're going to use some of this puff paint. This is from Dollar Tree and some of these gingerbread sprinkles. I have some from last year, so I'm just using up uh, pretty much what I have uh, in hopes that I can have like maybe half a tote of items when I'm completely done with Christmas. Now I added this larger gingerbread. It did not fit. It kept falling. Like I was having the worst time making these faux drinks this year. It was such a disappointment. I did, I want to say three days worth of fails before I got a couple of solid good ones. Uh, and then once that was done, I did end up adding just some small little gingerbreads. These are from Hobby Lobby and that's it. I think this ended up turning out cute for, you know, three, third time's a charm, I say. All right, next one. Now these are some older videos, but gosh, they're so near and dear to my heart because it's some of my first gingerbread that I have done and I think I'm going to recreate some of these. So I kind of like going back and seeing what I did and how I could make them better this time around. So this I'm using cork board from Dollar Tree and these little gingerbread uh, wooden pieces from Dollar Tree. I'm using hot glue. They have like colored hot glue and I'm using the white which this time around I would definitely use puff paint but I do like these eyes. They're such a solid circle. I love that. Uh, and I do not have the Sherbon or glue gun anymore. I didn't love it, so I do not have it anymore. And then, of course, some Dollar Tree bows. I'm not sure what I would add more. Like, if you guys recreated this DIY, like, what else would you add to this just to make them a little bit better? Another day, another Dollar Tree tray craft. Now this one is a heart shaped. I feel like the trays always have different heart. I think there's like hearts and stars and just like plain old sides or side handles. We're going to paint this. Of course, the crimson color. I can never use too much red around Christmas time because after Christmas, I kind of go into Valentine's Day, which is red and white and sometimes pink. And then I go ahead and use black and white the rest of the year. Uh, so it's kind of fun to use red as much as I possibly can. Obviously, I'm using some more of these little wooden guys from Dollar Tree. And then I'm using that hot glue gun once again to just make some little icings on the gingerbreads. Love this little decal. It says baking spirits bright and I always get questioned where I find them. So I just go to Cricut Design Space and I think I've already said this in the video and I just type in things and then I just scroll and scroll and scroll and like I don't know if everyone's design space is the exact same as another. Uh, I no longer pay for the monthly subscription through Cricut. So obviously my limits are very limited these days. So I don't even think I could get this decal on here right now unless I pay that $10 a month or they have promotions all the time. So I may end up just having to get and do like a promotional thing. I think it's like two bucks for two months or something like that right now. Like, I mean, don't quote me on that, like two weeks from now. But uh, anyways, I think this tray is super cute and I wasn't able to add anything to the top because I just didn't want to ruin it and cover it. So weird. 
Uh, rolling pin craft. This is from Dollar General. This is from a couple years ago. And that top honestly just fell right off, which I thought was awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this crimson, of course, because I mean, you know, I did end up leaving the handles brown. I just thought that was kind of cool. And then it did need a couple coats. I don't know what it is with this wood from Dollar General, but it always needs a couple coats. And then I'm gonna share real quick why I don't use my handwriting. And I think I show I've showed this many times. But like, this is just the ugliest. Like, I don't think it looks good at all. And that's why I always go and use my Cricut. And then I was like, I can't even fit gingerbread on here. Like, what was I thinking? Like, I need to, I need to go to bed. I need to stop crafting. Like, this is just, I don't even know why I finished it off. Like, I knew it wasn't going to work. And that is why I never do it. But official cookie tester is way cuter anyways. This is one of my favorites that I have done is using these ornaments. This is also a furniture marker. So obviously like if you ding it up vacuuming, which I probably do with pretty much everything I own, I always hit the vacuum on everything. You can use these markers and it kind of looks like a stain, which is pretty cool, but, or you can just stain them and it'd probably go by faster and you wouldn't have the marker marks. But regardless, we're going to turn these into some fake gingerbread cookies. Now I just added these to a crate you're going to see. I also made like a little garland. There's just so many different options you can use. I use some puff paint and I just think these are the cutest things. I also decided to go ahead and make some snow flake ones. And I think these ones are actually my favorite. And then as far as the crate, I added a vinyl decal too. And then I just added some really cute gingerbread ornaments that were from Walmart. Another way to use those little gingerbread mat. Now I like to flip them over and use the back sides, obviously, because there is just a lot of wooden pieces that are kind of sticking out. So once I trace that out, cut it, we're going to use those corks once again. And I just think that this really looks like a little gingerbread cookie. So I just embellish it as I wanted. I'm obviously using some puff paint and then I'm going to use my hot glue gun just to add some tiny little pom poms to the middle. And I really like the color of the gingerbread, like little pom poms. I think that turned out so cute.
I had some thrifted frames. I got these from a yard sale for 50 cents a piece, which is such a steal. I did not want to paint it. I thought that green was really pretty. I'm just gluing the gingerbread and adding some greenery and some berries and all the things to make this look like a really cute door hanger for Christmas. last DIY I am using this Target dollar spot wooden tray now this is from a couple years ago so you probably aren't gonna run out and be able to pick it up anytime soon I'm also using that oh snap chalk tour silk screen transfer once again and the candy apple chalk paste I love that I can reuse the chalk tour transfers as many times as I want. I want to say like up to 10 or 12 times I've been able to use some of them as long as you can take care of them. Maybe you can use them longer, uh, but I feel like that I kind of get bored of using the same one over and over again, but I've been doing some craft shows, so I've been able to use them multiple, multiple times. But you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, I would love you stick around and subscribe. Also, you guys want to check out her nest i will link them in the description box below so you guys can check out their high quality and stylish furniture but that is it you guys i will see you in the next one bye